Hello friends, I am Dr. Shweta Mishra, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce and Management, welcomes you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. The topic which I am going to discuss today is Payback Period. It is a part of Capital Budgeting Techniques. Now, the, what is Payback Period? Payback Period is a technique in which we are going to calculate the return which we have invested in a project that in how much time the return is re going to revert back to us. Suppose we have invested 25,000 in an investment then according to payback period we have to calculate that in how much time we are going to have our 25,000 rupees back as a return. Now payback period can be of two types when there are uniform cash flows that is we are going to get return of equal amount in each and every year and another one is not uniform cash flow that is in one year we'll get 5000 in another year we'll get 10000 and so on in order to complete our investment of 25000 now first i am focusing on uniform cash flow so here the question is Suppose a project requires 25,000 as initial investment and generate annual cash inflow. Annually, any we are going to get 5,000 for each and every year for 10 years. Calculate payback period. Now, for payback period, the formula is initial investment. upon annual cash inflow. Now here our initial investment is 25,000 rupees and annual cash inflow is 5,000. So we are going to get the rupees in terms of so the formula is initial investment upon annual cash inflow. Here our initial investment is 25,000 and annual cash inflow is 5,000. So after calculating it concludes that we are going to get back our 25,000 investment in 5 years. Now moving on to the next type of payback period when the cash inflow is not uniform just have a look. Moving on to the next type of payback period in which the cash inflows are not uniform that is if the project needs an initial investment of 25,000 and annual cash inflows for 5 years are 6,000, 9,000, 7,000, 6,000 and 4,000. So how we are going to calculate the payback period? First just make a table number of years for which cash flow is given to you is 5 amount of cash inflows that is 6000, 9000, 7000, 6000 and 4000. Now afterwards putting down the table we will going to accumulate the inflows that is we are going to add the inflows one by one 6000, 15,000, it's 22,000, here it comes 28,000 and lastly is 32,000. We have add on 6,000 plus 9,000 is 15,000, 15,000 plus 7,000 is 22, 22,000 plus 6,000 is 28,000 and lastly 28,000 plus 4,000 is 32,000. Now afterwards as we know that our initial investment is 25,000, we are going to get our 25,000 revert back. So in order to calculate payback period, it is clearly from the cumulative cash inflow that we are going to get 22,000 rupees in the third year. So we are going to add 3 plus. Now we are going to recover only 22,000 up to third year. Now the remaining that is 25,000 minus 22,000 that is we are going to left with 3,000 rupees more to be recovered. Now it is going to be recovered in the coming year and the coming year is this is going to be divided by the cash flow of the next year. So again we are going to have 22,000 recovered in third year and the remaining 3,000 is going to be recovered in the next year. So we are going to add, we are going to divide the same by cash flow of the next year. So our payback period is 3 plus 3,000 upon 6 that is 0.5 
that is we are going to recover our 25,000 rupees in three and a half years. So, for more information video, please like, comment and do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel gurukpo.com. Thank you.